Well, the, the question was how telomeres can be maintained um, when we knew that every time a cell divide, the telomeres got shorter and shorter. Um, and so uh, my colleagues, Elizabeth Blackburn and Jack Shostak, um, had done an experiment a few years before um, that suggested uh, that under some circumstances, the telomeres may actually get longer. Um, and so we were curious about um, how could it be that the telomeres would get longer, um, and they actually uh, hypothesized perhaps there's an enzyme that nobody's ever heard of before which would make the telomeres longer. So they did an experiment that suggested there may be such an enzyme, uh, and then I came into the laboratory and using biochemical purification showed that such an enzyme um, actually existed. Um, and it was really just trying to understand how cells work. Um, and, and I think from the disease aspect, um, you know, I liken it to um, a car mechanic, right? If you have a car that doesn't work anymore, if you never knew how the carburetor worked, you wouldn't be able to figure out why that car isn't working. So um, we're there to figure out the, the basics of how cells actually work so then uh, in disease you can understand what it is that went wrong because we understand what actually happens uh, to the chromosome ends and how they're normally maintained.